Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to update your PlayStation 5 system software using the internet. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. Now there's two different ways to update your PlayStation 5 system software using the internet. You can go to the PlayStation 5 settings or you can launch it into safe mode. Now these are going to be a little bit different. So on the home screen here, if we go up to the top and select settings, now scroll on down to where it says system. Select this. Now on the top it says system software and go to the right and go to system software update and settings. Now you can go to update system software on the top. Now mine says up to date and we can select this and then we can go to update using the internet. And I currently have the latest version of the system software. Now, if you launch it into safe mode, you can reinstall a fresh copy of the current system software using the internet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's press the PlayStation button, then go on over to power and turn off your PlayStation 5. Now you wanna make sure your PlayStation 5 is 100% turned off and it's not in rest mode. So turn it off, close all the games and applications, etc., And make sure there's no light on the top of the PlayStation 5's light bar. So here's my PlayStation 5. You can see there's no orange light, meaning it's not in rest mode. It's completely 100% turned off. Now you will want to go ahead and plug in your controller via user speed cable right here. So we can actually navigate the safe mode menu. You can't do it wirelessly. You have to have your controller plugged in. Now go ahead and locate the power button and hold this down. You will hear one beep initially, and then you'll hear a second beep. Make sure you keep holding it down. When you hear the second beep, go ahead and let go, and your PlayStation 5 will go ahead and launch into the safe mode menu. And then you'll want to press the PlayStation button right here, and then you can operate the safe mode menu. So here are all the different options. Now we want to go down to update system software and select this. And then go to update using internet option number two, select this, and it will go ahead and download a fresh copy of the system software to your PlayStation 5. And you're not getting that message where it says it can't because it's already up to date. So it looks like this current update is about one gigabyte, so it will take about four minutes to go ahead and download. Next, my PlayStation 5 will restart and I can start playing my PlayStation games once again. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If did, go and leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.